Hello. Good morning. I'm Rashida. These are my team members, Chris and Sian. And today we'll be telling you about our uh, project, which is, which is the real-time parking detection system. So some background. Um, according to an INRICS parking study released in 2017, the total cost of all parking pain in the U.S. totaled to be about $73 billion. The average time that a commuter spends searching for parking is 19 hours annually, with that number being five times as greater in areas such as New York. So our team here has developed a real-time parking detection system, <coughs> which is designed to use machine learning-enabled cameras that can, which are designed and packaged to be mounted on a pole. Um, the system functions in a way that you can use basic cameras within both indoor and outdoor parking lots, register them with their application, and then be able to view a user-friendly map of all the available parking spots, which is through a web application. Um, now Chris and Sian will talk more about the project architecture. Uh, so referring to the block diagram, our uh, system starts with the camera nodes, uh, which are positioned in front of uh, multiple parking spots. Uh, these cameras will take pictures periodically and will uh, process the data and send it to a server so it can be updated. These requests will be uh, sent to an API uh, via HTTP where it can update uh, the server-side application. Okay, the server-side application will take, receive the image taken by the, taken by the cameras and depending on how many spots the camera is watching, the server-side application will partition the image into separate parts and process feed them into our machine learning algorithm and to make a determination of which either the spot is uh, empty or full. And then the, the server application will update the information in a persistent database and our client-side uh, application will refresh every 10 seconds and fetch the data from the a database and then render the map to the users. Now we'd like to open the floor for questions. So when you go to the airport or some Nebraska furniture mart or somewhere, you already see where like the parking spot is like open like with the mm -hmm. orange or green light, things mm -hmm. like that. How much more efficient is this compared to a system like that? Mm, I guess it's uh, because we already so we can save the driver's time of actually looking for a parking Basi spot. We are gonna okay. right. basically like the system is that um, you can like see the number of parking spots ahead of time before you like get to your location, like the parking lot, it's like through the, our web application. So, so you have to like, you see that on a is that an app app or not where, an where app? Do you but see it's that? a it's like a web application. Yes, yeah. but it's, it's on the web because we use React to. Right, yeah, so you, you will work on the iPhone too. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, VJ stole my question, which is really good. Question too. Yeah, so, but I think what you guys have got here is something that you don't have to get to the airport to mm -hmm. go figure out where the parking yeah. spots are. Before you leave, you can go, look, remote north is filled up or whatever, mm -hmm. so I need to focus on, on this. And I, and I think that's your strength. Yeah. Is that, <clears throat> but, okay, that's all well and good, but I'm leaving the house and I look at this. And there's a parking space, you know, and, and might be closer to the terminal than I want to be. How do I know that that's going to be there when I get there? And that's that's why I'm saying is there exactly. is there an it's app? Probably gone. Yeah, the, um, it, an app would be more, you know, would be something that I would think would be more valuable for you to be able to check on your phone. And that notification. Phone. Yes, a notification phone. exactly. Yes. Yeah, you can be run on the phone. Yeah, you can run it through an app. Yeah. The run out demo is on our website, but it's the yeah, it's it's going to be functional. On the yeah, that's that's really you guys are you guys have got some strengths there. You're not you're not pushing up front. That that really is useful uh, before you leave the house or, or on an app when you get to the parking lot. You know you pull over and look and see what where you're heading toward. I think the other piece mm -hmm. here is that you're underusing the hardware that you're throwing at this. That was kind of as mentioned here before. It's like this is kind of an expensive solution versus occupancy sensors that are used presently. So I don't a metric should always be cost. And also, you, you're collecting more information that you could do something else, but you may not have okay. time to do that. But I think we should consider, well, what else could I do? Do I know that a car is heading, to, that just came in, is heading towards an open spot, and therefore I may be marked that taken, which would be far more powerful and keep people from circling around to get down that spot. That is something we considered doing, but... Okay, um, excellent. That, that, that should appear here. 
I wouldn't say it's expensive because we have one camera which costs like 50 bucks and you can watch like multiple spots. And right now the parking system has each has sensors on each spot. So mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thank you very much.